Hi everyone, it's me Guy, back again with another Science Behind video. This is episode two, and we're down in South Yorkshire at Broomhead Reservoir, where we come to meet Tom Young, who's a resource engineer, who's gonna give me some more info all about reservoirs. So let's get to it. So, Tom, how's it going? All right, Guy, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you, yeah, Very yeah. good. Uh, yeah, so as Guy's mentioned, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm a resource engineer in South Royal Water Team, and we're here at Broomhead. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, got, <laughs> it's got a few perks. It's a nice, uh, nice old site. Uh, we're just gonna have a walk around today, uh, show you a few bits about the rest. Excellent, come on, let's, uh, let's go have a look. Sound. This isn't bad, is it? No. Uh, as I said, it's got its perks. It's quite a pretty sight. So what's the sort of day-to-day -day of the role? Day-to-day uh, -to -day here, we, we spend time inspecting uh, the dam, uh, primarily. Uh, that's our main main role, making sure that's safe and uh, operating as it should be. Uh, no leaks, no, uh, no issues, and making sure the water treatment works get the water that they need. Um, other things could include ma uh, bits of maintenance, you know, weed control, that sort of thing. Um, even stonework at times. Yeah, we're dabbling everything. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, if, it, if it's involved with maintaining these structures, we uh, we, we deal with it at bit, some point. It's like a bit of DIY and yeah. stuff like that. You've got to have a dab hand. So how, so how does what you do then contribute to the water that's coming out of our taps? So we're the guys that capture the water, uh, hold it in the um, in the reservoirs, and um, basically send it down to the water treatment works. So we're the source. You're the source. <laughs> I like that. So basically, this is the point where we uh, control what water gets released from the dam uh, down to the treatment works, effectively. Yeah. These are the um, spindles that uh, control them. And does it take much to open them up? Uh, these ones being manually turned, they're, they're quite an effort. Are they? Uh, yeah, uh, a thousand plus turns per valve. A thousand plus? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long How long would it take you to do that if you were here for... Well, you know, half a day um, with a full team, so... So obviously we're at Broomhead, mm -hmm. um, where does it supply? So Broomhead supplies um, part of Sheffield. Right. Um, it, it's treated at Uden Water Treatment Works and sent on its way from there to the various outreaches of our network. <laughs> we're just uh, effectively going through a regular dam inspection. It's very visually oriented. Um, which is good. Yeah, uh, the Mark 1 eyeball, nothing can beat it. So uh, at the minute we're walking the mitre of the dam, which is where it joins the abutment of the valley. Uh, the reason we walk the mitre is uh, because if there was any water escaping around the outsides of the dam, this would be the natural place uh, for it to sort of flow down right. um, off the abutment of the valley side. Um, it's also a good vantage point for the rest of the embankment. Yeah, so this stone, uh, this stone work forms part of a, uh, an intricate drainage system on site. Um, they thought of everything back in the day. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way of getting water away from the dam uh, and allowing us to monitor it uh, to make sure nothing untoward's going on. Minimum three times a week, uh, we'll we'll walk these dams. Um, you know, the more the better. Yeah. The more eyes you've got on them, um, and the more you look at it, the more you notice change, which is what we don't want. Uh, us resource engineers like normality. Uh, so now we're coming up to the spillway of the dam. Uh, this is where excess water is released during heavy rainfall. So where basically when it's full, it comes down here uh, and downstream. Um, so we're just coming up here to uh, give it a quick look over and make sure everything's as it should be. Is there anything you'd be looking for in particular? <laughs> 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 to put it bluntly, cracks. Oh, uh, right, but okay. There's a lot of other subtle uh, little uh, things that we can look for, you know, yeah. um, that are potential indicators of things that shouldn't be. Uh, shouldn't be here. Yeah, uh, or shouldn't be happening. Uh, but looking at it so far, just a quick visual, everything looks all right and in order, and exactly as it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to like get your head round that this was man made. It were, it were impressive. Yeah. I'd like to have seen it. Uh, some of the old engineering is quite interesting. Uh, you know, 
some of these stones you can still see the old tooling marks where they've carved them out you know you can see how that's been carved out someone literally spent their time with a hammer and chisel knocking that out uh, and on some of them you can still see the tool marks which is quite impressive Yeah, so I was going to ask you um, about reservoir safety and about the hidden dangers of reservoirs. Yeah, you've got to think, uh, unlike naturally formed lakes, um, as we've said a couple of times already, these are man-made structures and they serve a purpose. Um, because they are man-made, they, they often have features and obstacles that are subsequent of that, and uh, not naturally formed rocks and things like that. You will, you have obstacles such as leveling boards, um, draw off structures, uh, they might, at some places uh, there's, uh, there's machinery and uh, equipment that's down there. Um, so are there any sort of questions you get a lot while you're out? Uh, you, the most common one is why we refer to uh, reservoirs as IREs, uh, as it says on the name sign just here. Um, it basically stands for impounding reservoir, which is what Broomhead is. And ah. just a brief explanation of that is an impounding reservoir is a reservoir that fills up via a natural catchment, uh, similar to what Granville were talking about on your last episode. So do you have to do anything about releasing water from the reservoir then? Uh, yeah, uh, there's two ways that we release water from here. Uh, the first being uh, via a pipeline to the water treatment works, and that goes off obviously to be trapped. Yeah. Uh, for drinking water and the other uh, we have to do regular scour tests uh, just to make sure reservoir safety standards are being uh, met right. um, which funny enough we're actually doing one in a couple of days if you want to tag along oh cool yeah yeah i'm up for that uh, we've come over here to do a, uh, a, a six monthly scour test uh, which is our way of testing the uh, Reservoir safety valves are still working properly, okay. as they should be. Good. Uh, so in case of an emergency, uh, we, we can uh, let some water out of the dam. Uh, so at this point, we've opened the downstream valve at Dam Flask. We're now releasing water, which forms part of the scour test. This is an integral part to maintaining reservoir safety standards at dams, and is part of our procedures and what we do. You'll notice the, the water came out a bit murky to start with. That's the silt and uh, bits of fine debris being washed away from the upstream valves and in the pipes and stuff like that. Hence why it's called a scour test. Uh, once water looks like it's cleared up and we've tested everything up at the top, we'll shut the valve back down and that's the test completed for at least six months. That was Reservoirs. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, leave us a comment in the section below. You know, is there anything we've missed? Anything you'd like to know more about? And also stay tuned for our next episode, which should be out in about a month. And that's all about water towers. See you then.